The SeaGuide exam is a challenging exam that tests your knowledge and expertise in IT governance. It consists of 450 multiple choice questions that you have to complete in only 4 hours. The exam is available in two languages, Simplified Chinese and English. The scoring system for the SeaGuide exam ranges from 200 to 800, with a minimum score of 450 required to pass the exam. It is important to note that the exam is designed to test your knowledge and expertise in four specific domains. Governance of enterprise IT, IT resources, benefits realization, and risk optimization. Each domain makes up a certain percentage of the exam. So for example, 40% of the exam will be about governance of enterprise IT, which means you can expect around 60 questions about that topic. Each question in the SIGAT exam has a STEM which is the actual question or an incomplete statement. Sometimes even a little scenario might be provided to add more context to the question. The questions are all presented in a multiple choice format, meaning you will have a few answer choices to choose from for each question. Your task is to select the correct or best answer from the, from the options provided. This means sometimes more than one answer is correct, but only the best answer is supposed to be selected. To select the best answer, you should look out for keywords like best, worst, most, and so on. Now in this example we are asked the following question. What should be the primary focus when optimizing IT resource allocation? The options provided all seem to make sense, meaning all of them should be put into consideration when optimizing IT resource allocation. However, the alignment with business objectives is the number one priority when allocating IT resources. This is supposed to ensure that business objectives are actually met. The exam is computerized, meaning right after you have submitted your final answer and marked the test as completed, you will be provided with a pass or fail status. The scores for each job practice domain are scaled. This means not all questions count the same. In other words, you can't assume the number of questions you are required to answer correctly. Scores range from 200 to 800. In order to pass the exam, you need to achieve a score of at least 450. The SeaGuide exam is offered in two ways, remote proctored testing and on-site testing. Remote proctored testing has been introduced recently due to the COVID-19 pandemic and it allows candidates to take the exam from the comfort of their homes. On the other hand, on-site testing requires candidates to travel to a designated testing center to take the exam. Remote proctored testing allows for greater flexibility in scheduling the exam as it can be taken at any time of the day, whereas on-site testing is typically only offered during specific hours at designated testing centers. However, remote proctored testing requires candidates to have a reliable internet connection in a quiet, distraction-free environment as they will be monitored by a remote proctor throughout the exam. On-site testing provides a more traditional testing experience where candidates can take the exam in a controlled environment under the supervision of an on-site proctor. This option may be preferable for those who prefer a structured testing environment or who may have not access to a suitable environment for remote testing.